Hato, Kushe, Nse. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Phantom Pam. I am so excited to bring you the news. We have finally completed the roofing of our poultry house. We're so excited and looking forward to it. But because before we go any further into the video, I just want to say a huge welcome to all of our new subscribers. Thank you so much for choosing the channel. Thanks for the love and your support. We appreciate it. If you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. We have so much coming up. But yeah, we're going to talk about a few things that you need to consider before you start roofing or when you're roofing. So a poultry house roofing is an important part of keeping your birds healthy and comfortable. The roof should provide protection from the elements such as rain, sun, wind, and it should also be well ventilated to prevent the buildup of heat in your poultry house. There are different materials that can be used for poultry house roofing. The most common material is um, the metal zinc, which is what we've got on our roof. So metal roofs are durable, long lasting, and they are resistant to weather damage. However, metal roofs can be expensive, which ours was very expensive. And it can also reflect heat, which can make your poultry house too warm in the summer or the dry season, depending on what you call it. The best type of roofing material that you will choose for your poultry house will definitely depend on your budget and the climate. So let's say you live in a cold climate. You will definitely need a roof that can withstand snow. And if you live in a hot climate like our building is, you will need a roof that can provide shade and ventilation as well. As you can see, our building is well ventilated, though it's not fully complete yet. No matter the type of material of roofing that you choose, it is important to make sure that the roof is properly installed. And remember, a poorly installed roof can leak, which can lead to moisture damage and spread of diseases in your poultry house, which would not be good for your business. So I thought to just give you some tips when it comes to installing the roof on your poultry house. So make sure that the roof is sloped properly to allow the water to drain away from the poultry house itself. And use a roofing material that is appropriate for your climate. This is very important. So as he, I've said it a few times already, climate. And install the roof securely to prevent leaks. So make sure that after they finish the, the roofing, well, if it rains, it will be really good for you to check. That's the best way to check whether there's leaks anywhere. But if not, you can also have a look and see if that shade coming through and you see whether it was done properly. Make sure that you're preventing leaks when they've installed it. And inspect the roof regularly for signs of damage and make sure you repair those damages if you see one. So as soon as you see a damage in the roof, make sure you repair it because you don't want water or moisture going into your building which will cause diseases to your birds for liberia specifically i did put a few different things or different tips that you need to consider if you're building in liberia so if you're building in liberia or uh, using wood especially wood on the roof or wood around the building you need to remember to use um materials that are resistant to termite Otherwise, use like the there's like chemical you can use on the timber that kills the termites away. Now I don't know what it's called. If you know what it's called, leave the name in the comment section, guys. Um, and make sure that your building is well ventilation, especially if you are building in Liberia. You have to remember that during the dry season it gets really hot, so make sure that your poultry house is really well ventilated. Don't build the wall up the walls on the sides up too high so there's enough air going in and out and make sure you keep your poultry house around it clean as much as possible um, because you don't want rodents to go into the building um, after you've spent all that money and they go and spread disease among your flock 
few weeks ago i posted in the community tab on the channel asking which color we should go with and a couple of you chose the green which i was really excited about because that's what i was thinking about so thank you guys for taking the time and doing that i do appreciate it the zinc we ended up purchasing is 90 dollars a bundle and each bundle had 20 sheets in them from my previous videos i think i've already mentioned that transportation is very expensive in liberia so most of the cost really is transporting these items from town to the farm so just keep that in mind when you're starting your farm make sure you have a vehicle on hand that you can use to transport goods to your own farm and also one of the other stuff that we we'll find really challenging was the workmanship to me, I don't know, maybe I've been um, in Australia for too long, but if you have a contract with someone, you don't just abandon it and just do your own thing. And I found that a lot with the contractors that we had, the builder first and then the carpenters, where they'll work one week and then just take the whole crew out of the farm and not come back for like one, two weeks. And for them to come back, you have to pay them even though you guys have agreed that the initial payment was in the beginning and upon completion, then they'll get their final payment. But when they leave, for them to come back, you have to pay them. So I would definitely not be recommending <laughs> those, those carpenters nor the builder. So, but I guess it's something that I have to get used to. People take things very easily in Africa and I need to start getting used to that. <laughs> doing business in africa now that is just some of the challenges that we have faced so far just a few <laughs> so if you want like me to do like a video of challenges that you will be facing upon doing business in liberia comment it down below and i will definitely get that onto you i might actually get it onto you guys because <laughs> i do think that it's things that you need to be aware of before you venture into starting a business in liberia but yeah thank you guys for the love thanks for your support i hope to see you on the next one i love you all like the video guys mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs>